Hello and warm greeting to you all from Shiori Constituency Private Limited. In this tutorial, we are going to use Power BI for AMA CFT risk assessment. I believe you have already gone through my article beforehand. If not, please follow the link given below this video to read that article for better understanding. But if you are only here to see Power BI in action, then it is okay. Let's dive in. For this example, I have selected bank as an organization to illustrate ML safety risk assessment process. However, please keep in the mind that process of risk assessment laid down below can be applied in any organization. The first component of risk management is risk identification, where we need to identify different risk factors. So let us first look at our data. In this data, you can see the customer ID is, uh, is given along with customer name. For the sake of simplicity, we have assumed that customer opts for only one product. These are the product types. The country to which customer belongs is also mentioned here. For example, this is the country name. And customer nature column is also here. This is the column which illustrates the nature of customer. And finally, there are three, three types of transaction that each customer usually performs in his or her account. So these are the three types of transaction. In this way, we have successfully incorporated four risk factors that are usually uh, used for ML safety risk assessment purposes. So, first risk factor is our customer natures. Second is our product and services. Third one is our country. And fourth is our delivery channel. Now, let's look at how we have classified the risk of these four factors. Let's take uh, example of customer nature. So let us uh, look at an example of customer nature. So these are the different nature of customer who are doing business with bank. So they range from refugee to retired students to minors and, uh, and the customer who are involved in teaching. And we have classified the risk of this customer on the basis of their nature. And also we have assigned the respective weight to the this type of risk right so high risk will have has a numerical value of three while low has one and medium has two similarly we have classified the components of other risk factor also uh, for example you can take product and services these are the list of products that bank provided provides to its customer and similarly these products are classified in different risk category and they are given appropriate risk weightage right now we have customer nature also okay sorry we have already done customer nature now let's look at our country list right these are the uh, these are the uh, uh, country of the customers Then we have delivery channel, okay. These are the delivery channel, transaction delivery channel or transaction that usually customer do they uh, do there in their account, okay. Now let's look at our risk category. So this is our risk weightage. We have uh, uh, categorized risk into three category and we have given them their respective weightage. Now let's fire up our Power BI. So we are going to uh, we are going to import all the Excel files uh, in the Power BI. So I have the files over here. We have successfully imported 
this Excel file in our Power BI. Now we need to import other other Excel files in these folders. Uh, let me forward this video a little bit quicker so that we will not lose more much more time. Okay, now we have imported all the Excel files that we need for this example, right? We have country list, then we have customer list, this is our overall data, then we have customer nature list, deliver channel list. After this, we have come to another important stage in Power BI. We need to establish or create relationship between these tables. Let me zoom in for better picture. I think it's uh, much more clear now. So in right hand side, you can see our four risk factors, right? This is our risk weightage and this is our total data. Now we need to establish the relationship between all these tables. So first one is customer nature. We know that customer nature is present in our main data. So we can create a relationship between these two tables. Also there is a risk factor which can be linked to our risk table, right, or weightage table. Now similarly, we are going to link all this table, all other remaining tables with our main data and our risk weightage table. So let me do this first. To diagrammatically represent the relationship between this table for better understanding. First we are going to create matrix. Okay. So first is our customer nature. Okay. So we have a customer nature here. Then we have then we are going to select customer ID. We are going to put it in a values table. Okay. Then we are going to select count. Of. Now we can see that there are total number of customer equal to 4240 and these are the customer natures and these are the count of the customer belonging to the respective customer nature. So the highest is refugees. That is quite odd. Okay. So let me create matrix for other customer risk factor also. Now we are going to add world map here. So this will not show any figure unless we select some field from our this column. So first we are going to select country. Okay. Now we are going to bring down this customer ID to size field. Okay. Now this map shows uh, concentration of your customer in different countries. Like uh, for example, we have 198 customer from USA and I think uh, there are more customer in Asia region, right? Okay. Similarly, we are going to create a pie chart. Okay, yeah. so for this pie chart, we are going to select customer ID, right? So this should be in the value field here. And then we are going to select risk. This pie chart shows we have total number of customer belonging to medium risk is more than other risk grading. So we have created necessary charts in Power BI. 
You can see that in above figure, we have used customer number as metric for each risk factor and their individual components. Count of customer ID column include the number of customer in those component. For example, there are three casino customer and 192 customer are coming from India. 422 customer use banking product and 531 500 and 531 customer do the transaction from internet banking the main advantage of power bi is that it shows interlink between these various chart let's click on the medium field in the pie chart When medium segment of the chart is clicked, the whole components of chart changes. You may be thinking that is good, but may be wondering can all this risk factor can be combined into one so that I can see my overall risk profile of this organization. Yes, this can be done. Let me take you to another sheet. Okay, we'll add matrix same as before. So I am going to put value on tree in the row field. Okay. Then I will add customer nature. Then I will add train transition delivery channel. Okay. Then I will add product type. Okay, now in the value field, I will add customer ID and this one, this will be our count. Okay, so we have now total number of customer 4240 and we can drill down here. Let's say this is our Argentina. Let's do this Iran. Okay. Let me add tree map also for the better understanding. So we are going. Uh, okay. In group uh, in group field, we are going to add this risk. Okay. And then for values field. We are going to add customer ID. Okay. Okay. Now that is correct. Let me click high risk segment. Uh, this will provide you information regarding high risk profile of your organization. From, for example, it can be seen that bank is giving services to jewelry dealers, large tax payers, money transfer agencies who are from Iran, which is a high risk country to, uh, to whom bank is providing various products like bank guarantee, SWIFT, right, and LC. So all these components are high risk component. Finally, we are able to see each risk factors including its components with their appropriate risk weight and number of customer in each component. The next step is to perform risk calculation since there are a lot of assumption and mathematical operation to be performed here which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Please refer to the article where all the necessary procedures are explained. I hope this was useful. Thank you all. Please feel free to share this video if you found it useful. Thank you.